Hello, Lancers. It is Mr. Zeller and Dr. Whipple. We are here to talk about lunches. We're not going to talk about what's for lunch. We're not going to talk about band lessons for this morning announcement. We are going to talk about a hard reset on how we act and what we do in lunches. Mm, yeah. As you can tell, we're not joking this morning. This is going to be a little more serious of a morning announcement. And your circle today is going to be focused on lunches. So we've got some rules that we're going to go over. And we're going to make sure that we're all understanding, which means every single person in the school, students, staff, everyone that works here, everyone that comes here is going to be on the same page. Because I think that's super important. The first thing. On A and B days, that is thunder in the cafeteria, which means C and D days is lightning in the cafeteria. No exceptions. There is not wanting to be with a friend. There's not trying to share. This is where you're supposed to be at that time. So that is what we expect from you. If you're not back in your class after getting lunch, this is considered skipping. So we will write you up for that and you will get ISS for skipping where you're supposed to be. We need to know where you are. Teachers are going to have rosters on every single back of their door to know who is supposed to be where and when. So if you are not back with your lunch at an appropriate time, we will be writing you up and you will be considered skipping. Let me look what else we got here. You want to go over running, Dr. Whipple? Oh, yeah, sure. So running, although it's a very good, healthy activity, mm -hmm. it's not appropriate for the hallways here at the middle school. And w why is because you could bump into somebody, trip and fall, especially during the winter time where the hallways get wet, it's slick. I've seen people fall and slip before, and they weren't even running. So imagine if you're actually running. So really, we cannot afford to run in the hallway, OK? You will still make it to your class on time as long as you go to where you're supposed to be. And the food isn't going anywhere, And is there's it? plenty of food. That's what's beautiful it's about crazy. A school. It's amazing. We have lots of food. We have enough food for everybody. I've never seen anyone be turned away and go hungry. Also, there's lots of seats in the cafeteria. So trying to run to get to a specific seat there's lots of tables. Find another one. We're walking. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how we do things. Uh, to go off of that, Dr. Whipple, we're going to talk about uh, what lunch is really meant for. It is not a playground. It is not a time for running around. It is not a time for touching each other. It is not a time to be up and around. It is a time to eat, mm -hmm. talk. Yeah, have a good conversation. You can be on your phone. I mean, if you're in the cafeteria, it's a good time to have your phone out. I see some people game. Yeah, gaming. I, that's yeah, okay. Right? Great. Tell jokes. Yep. Playing cards. Yeah. Totally fine. All of those things are great. All acceptable. Yes. It's a relaxed time. Not uh, I want to run and talk to every single person I know time. So when you're in the classroom, you need to be sitting. When you're in the cafeteria, mm. I think you, you need, need to be, be sitting. sitting. Yeah. yeah. Pretty simple. Okay. And the last one that we want to go over to make sure we are all on the same page. When you are in the classroom, bathroom and garbage is going to be the last five minutes of class. When you come back into your classroom and you sit down and you eat, it is not going to be automatically, let's get back up and go out in the halls. Your time to do that will be the last five minutes of, of your lunchtime, and you will be going one at a time because we don't need a lot of people in the halls. We have classes still learning. Mm -hmm. So having noise in the hall is not appropriate because everyone still needs to learn. These are our expectations. These are the teacher's expectations. And we know you can follow them. And we hope you do. If we can have a solid couple weeks of how lunches should be, the Friday before break, we have something fun planned for our entire school. We're thinking of doing some sort of maybe a dodgeball competition again, or maybe even like a three-point basketball competition. We have arts. We have games. We have lots of things that we want to do, but we need you, students, to start showing us how we act in school and how we do lunches. So thank you for your time. I hope you have a great circle with your teachers today, and I hope you have a fantastic Monday. Bye. Go Lancers.